I'm here at a crosswalk here on Broadway in Newport, and this crosswalk's already starting to fade, which doesn't make it easy for drivers to notice it here. It's one of the reasons why the city of Newport is going to be taking a look at this crosswalk and many others after these last two tragedies. Newport is a city with a lot of traffic and pedestrians maneuvering safely through intersections like the one at Memorial Boulevard and Bellevue Avenue can be a challenge. There has been very little uh, oversight of this intersection. A challenge that can turn deadly as the city learned all too well last month. On January 17th, 57 year old Robert Sylvia was fatally hit while crossing Memorial Boulevard in his wheelchair. The next week, 58 year old a local businesswoman Sharon Gerlosh was killed crossing Bellevue Avenue. Both victims were in the crosswalk. I mean, you would think if you're in a crosswalk, you're doing the right thing, you should be safe. At large councilwoman Naomi Neville says it's why she helped pass a resolution to look at all pedestrian safety laws in the city and state. We didn't want to just, you know, say, oh, that's too bad and walk away. We really wanted to use that to focus on this issue. I knew Bob Sylvia. It was important 20 years ago. It's most important now. And the city's also going to look at how it maintains current crosswalks. Whether it's doing a good enough job of marking the crosswalks, giving people enough time to cross safely, and finally just making sure people are following the rules of the road. The city has already held meetings with state officials and the public. So far, Neville says they've discussed better lighting and striping the crosswalks at different times of year to prevent fading. The hope is a joint effort will lead to better law enforcement, crosswalk maintenance, and public awareness. Safety is paramount. So we'll do what we need to. And I did ask how much all of this would cost taxpayers. And the councilwoman told me, well, they just want to make a few adjustments. So the changes they make should not be very expensive. Reporting live in Newport, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News. Sierra, thank you. To catch a